hello uh, welcome uh, back to the next uh, series of video lectures and here uh, in this uh, lecture i will discuss about the block diagram algebra related to the Toronto system in general first of all uh, we should know what is block diagram uh, algebra and why it is uh, required in quanto system from the uh, basic uh, definition of the quanto system for, from the introductory class you know that quanto system is made up of the different uh, uh, elements uh, that means uh, that may be mechanical may be electrical may be pneumatic may be hydraulic Maybe thermal. So these are the different kinds of systems uh, available, and uh, you can model all these type of systems. But most of the instruments uh, in different industries, whatever uh, the different components are available uh, to design any control system, are normally electrical and mechanical. So uh, in the previous lecture sessions, uh, we have discussed about the physical system modeling. That means how to model the mechanical system or electrical system, and from the modeling, we have obtained the transfer function of the system. That is transfer function of the system. That means uh, output by input, and both are in Laplace domain. Uh, so once you get the transfer function of the system, that means what you have to do, you can get the corresponding output to particular type of input applied to the system. Because from this expression, you see y s that is output is nothing but xs into gs that means this is your gain basically this is the gain output by input and output is nothing but the multiplication of the input with the system uh, transfer functions or in uh, normal uh, block diagram sections you see this is represented any system is represented by this right so this is uh, is a system representation where this is your input this is your transfer function that means uh, any component may be electrical, may be mechanical, may be thermal, may be hydraulic, may be pneumatic, and this is your corresponding output. And our aim in the control system is that to get the desired output for a particular type of input, or you can vary the input, and corresponding to that, you have to note what are the defined kinds of the output at the steady state conditions you are getting, whether that is the desired or undesired values, right? So ultimately this is your block this is your block and normally this is denoted by or normally this is uh, known as plant or process right and there may be uh, in the plant you see you can consider uh, say for example a thermal power plant where there are uh, several number of generators turbines and uh, uh, you, you, you see if, uh, uh, other equipments are there uh, so uh, uh, in process industries also there will be different kinds of sensors are there each of the sensors will be acting as uh, any system that means each of the sensors will be having some input as well as some output that means that is also a uh, system so uh, maybe there are different connections like this say for example uh, a system is described by g1 uh, i am not writing the function s because these are all the function of s so maybe uh, the interconnections is like this g2 is another plant which is connected uh, with this g1 plant is like this maybe there is a another plant which is connected like this g3 and uh, maybe and that will they, they will meet at a certain point and after that again you will be having another plant and uh, here you will get like this so maybe this is yes rs and this is your h and this is your cx same this is basically for example one arbitrary kind of example i am taking here to uh, uh, make you uh, just clear that what is the requirement of block diagram and why uh, this block diagram algebra will be helpful to give us uh, a uh, uh, farm insight about the system what is that that is like say g1 g2 g3 g4 and so on and ultimately our aim is to get this output whenever any kind of input is applied that means a system uh, when you applied any kind of input that may be uh, time uh, domain signal that may be frequency domain signal whatever so once you this signal is applied 
so uh, these are the different types of blocks you need to know what is this what is this and why what is this uh, what is the role of these points and why is these are connected like this and what we have to do or actually we want to get cs by rs that means our aim is to get the overall transfer function of the system gs that means as a whole we want to get a system in such a way such that we will just apply a certain kind of input and we want to get the output in between how they are connected why they are connected that is not our business because once they are the plant is first uh, designed then all these connections are made now your work is to get the desired output for a particular type of input applied right so this is the block blocks now you know the concept of blocks and each of the uh, blocks represent each of the components each of the sensor each of the device each of the electrical device mechanical device hydraulic device and whatever the different uh, devices available right so uh, before going to discuss about in detail the block diagram algebra actually uh, we want to get the system uh, output by system uh, input as a whole so that is the motto of this block diagram algebra this chapter now uh, first of all i will uh, show you the basic uh, closed loop system one that there is a block diagram of any basic uh, closed loop feedback control system what is that uh, here you will see uh, it is known uh, all uh, the variables we are cons considering uh, is in the uh, you see this is in uh, Laplace domain so uh, this is your rs and this block is known as error block or sum summing block right so these are the names now what is the function of this summing block already in the previous lectures we have discussed there is a controller block gcs there is another block which and arrow is very important this is actuator block and this is your plant gps okay now from here what you will be getting this is your cs output and this is your feedback because we are dealing with the closed loop system feedback control system so this is your hs hs your feedback uh, element and all are uh, written in the function of s that means all the uh, basically blocks have been uh, described by its differential equations taking taking the Laplace transform of each of them and uh, you get the uh, blocks as a function of s right so what is the function of this block this see whatever being uh, input signal is going there and output is obtained whenever any signal passing through this first of all any output you get that output uh, is passing through this feedback block to give you certain kind of output that means where what you are getting that that signal is known as i can say it bs and what is the bs you see from any basic definition if this is your rs and this is your gs so you get cs so what is the relation between these three these are nothing but rs into gs equal to your cs fine this is the uh, block where there is no loop no feedback path nothing here uh, the signal is negatively feedback so this is error error block or summing block the purpose of this to compare the two signals what is this comparing rs with bs right so here the error signal is generated what is this error signal this is es so according to this rule of this transfer uh, that is summing block but it is generating that is you see es equal to rs minus bs right so you get the rs minus bs is your uh, es error signal now this es signal is passing through this controller block to give you some uh, actuating signal say as and this as is multiplied with this a gs block to give you manipulated signal ms and ms that manipulated variable uh, signal that's that signal goes to the plant to give you cs okay so that means what here is going on here see 
this AS is nothing but AS into GCS and AS into GS equal to MS, MS into GPS is equal to CS or in other way uh, you can say this uh, if you just write down these equations what I have been uh, talking about uh, you will get like ES into GCS equal to your AS again AS into GAS will be equal to MS and MS into GPS will give you see CS so you get if you just put the value of AS here and I put the value of MS here you will get the relation between CS and ES so so CS uh, you, you, what you see from here this CS that is uh, CS equal to you see MS MS means AS into GAS so AS into GAS into GPS right now put the value of AS here so uh, CS becomes AS means you see ES into GCS into GAS into GPS so what do you get this ES versus CS and you get this uh, see uh, these three blocks are in cascaded just note this part this is a path where a single signal is passing through all the blocks and ultimately what you see GCS GS and GPS these three blocks are in cascade so uh, you can expect the output like uh, CS by ES you can get CS by ES what is this this is uh, GCS GAS into GPS this is the CS by ES and you see if there is no feedback path if there is no feedback path that means there is only a path which is carrying the signal ES to CS we, we, were, we are just ignoring this part here because uh, this is uh, the block which will operate only when there will be the feedback path if there is no feedback path so there is no necessity of this block so ultimately uh, when the feedback path is incorporated there will be two paths one is known as the forward path one is known as the feedback path right so here forward path means the signal which comes here and goes there so cs es to cs that is your forward path so from here definitely we will get the forward path transfer function what is the forward path transfer function that is gcs gs and gps right so we will call it uh, forward path transfer functions so from this uh, we get uh, this is number one forward path transfer function that is uh, gcs gs into gps right or uh, so this is your, your forward path transfer function that means cs by es this is your forward path transfer functions naturally Automatically the question comes into your mind that where is the backward path? Backward path means the signal which comes from BS to DM, right? So BS is your backward path signal output. So from this uh, part, from here to here, you see this is the output and this is your input. So CS definitely multiply to the HS to give you BS, right? So uh, what is the uh, then feedback path uh, transfer functions? feedback path transfer functions that is, is equal to your bs by cs because when you consider this is the feedback path so this is your output and this is your input right so output by input means bs by cs that is, is equal to your hs and uh, somewhere sometimes you will find the term like unity feedback control system right so unity feedback control system means uh, you, you, you can just consider this unity feedback unity feedback means this feedback path gain of the sensor is equal to 1 what does it mean that means it may be unity again buffer of amp type which, which the of amp whose gain is 1 because hs is 1 that means what you see bs by cs is equal to 1 that means 
BS is equal to CS. What does it mean? That means whatever will be the signal coming here, that goes to the end. That means uh, this path, this sensor, uh, there is a sensor, definitely there is a sensor, but uh, that is a buffer basically, which gain is unity. So uh, we learned from this uh, section that is the uh, generalized block diagram of a control system. What we learned, we learned that how to get the forward path transfer function and uh, feedback path transfer function, or sometimes known as the backward path transfer functions. So once you get this forward path transfer function and backward path feedback path transfer function, then definitely. Uh, there will be the term open loop transfer function and closed loop transfer function which are very important and uh, here we will discuss uh, this part how to get the uh, transfer function of the open loop system and closed loop system because uh, this is the basic or the fundamental concept of block diagram uh, algebra see uh, we just considered there is no loop so number three that is known as open loop transfer functions open loop transfer function means there is no this type of branch uh, that means this error path is not there so open loop transfer function is what open loop transfer function is uh, you see this is your output here the signal uh, starts that goes there then finally there so it is basically having no loop like structure so loop comes when this summer type of or error type of block is coming to the picture so uh, open loop transfer function means output is here bs and input is ES, right? So ES is a signal which goes through this path and coming to ultimately BS. There is a loop. So BS by ES, that is your open loop transfer functions. We may call it open loop transfer function, OLTF. So OLTF is equal to, you may write BS by CS into CS by ES, right? So CS, CS will cancel out and ultimately we'll get the same value as that bs by es so once bs by cs you know what is this and cs by es you know what is this what is this bs by cs bs by cs is nothing but uh, you see bs by cs that is your hs and cs by hs that is your forward path transfer function that normally we may call it gs or uh, in a single block we may replace it by gs that means all the elements which are coming in the forward path that may be uh, written as gs that is the normal convention and here all these blocks are in cascade so this gcs into gs into gps will give you this gs right so this is your open loop transfer function so open loop transfer function is gs into ages for unity feedback for unity feedback system what will be the open loop transfer functions that will be only gs because hs will be equal to one that means if uh, a unity control uh, system is uh, considered then the here will be gs path and this will be one right and the structure will be like this you see gs and plus minus this is your gs block this is your cs and a single line that is a single line that means uh, there is no uh, uh, block here as if as if there is no block here though there is a block which is having the same gain because uh, you know the loading effect from the electronics concept uh, you, you know that part so there must have some element here in the feedback path which is having the gain uh, one right so this is the uh, uh, block diagram of the unity feedback control system right so this is the open loop uh, transfer functions and now coming to the closed loop transfer functions which is very much important and that is our main motto of this chapter to discuss right so next part is uh, we will discuss about the closed loop transfer function cltf that is closed loop transfer function so when you will call this closed loop transfer function definitely i will just rewrite this term in terms of whatever we have derived plus minus say we will call it gs that is your forward for transfer function output and we will make it hs Right. So here comes the term yes error block. Here the BS block feedback path. Right. Now once you have to get the closed loop transfer function, that means what is the output of the closed loop system? See, output of the closed loop system means you have to incorporate this path. That means this error signal must have to be considered. 
So this is as a whole will give a closed loop path, right? So output of it is equal to CS. So CS by RS. This is your reference input signal, which is not ES. Once you are considering ES, that means only you are considering the forward path. But when you are considering the forward path, backward path, and error signal, that gives you the closed loop response. Sorry, closed loop um, uh, system. So closed loop system means CS is your ultimate output and RS is your ultimate input. So this will give you a closed loop system. Uh, again, this is CS by RS. And normally, this is denoted by T of S. That is a convention. You can call it uh, any other variables too. Right? So CS by RS. Now we have to find out the CS by RS by some solving algebraic equations. Basically, one kind of algebraic equations uh, you have to solve to get this block diagram uh, uh, clear. So that is why this is termed as the block diagram algebra. Next, we find out what is this ES. What is this ES? We know ES is equal to uh, from this error block RS minus BS. This is the variable. Right? So this is RS minus BS. And this is one equation. Second equation is that uh, you know CS equal to ES into GS number two and third one is bs equal to cs into hs this is the three equations and we have to just manipulate this in such a way such that we can get the term like cs by rs nothing else right so uh, we can put here instead of es rs minus bs and instead of bs we'll put this term only nothing else was to get the overall transfer function of the system that is known as the closed loop system transfer functions. So, by manipulating, we get CS equal to C. CS is nothing but ES. Instead of ES, we will write RS minus BS into your GS. Right? So, this is uh, I can write GS minus bs into gs here instead of bs we will write cs into hs so cs will become rs into gs minus gs into cs into hs cs into hs right so there is a term cs there is a term cs we will take it uh, in the left hand side so cs plus cs uh, gs into hs this will be equal to gs rs right so cs 1 plus gs hs equal to your gs into rs as simple as that right step by step just manipulation so what we have to get we have to get the closed loop transfer function that is cs by rs so just cs by rs write this this is equal to gs by 1 plus gs into hs right so this is your closed loop transfer function that we get we get the closed loop transfer function cs by rs is equal to gs gs means the forward path transfer function divided by 1 plus gs into hs that gives you the closed loop transfer function and once you get this cs by rs as a whole so you need not to use this error block and feedback path and all these things so ultimately you can write the system transfer functions in a single line diagram right like you can like write uh, this is rs this is your block now what you get gs by one plus gs hs this is your RS. so there is no block like error there is no block like take off so take up block what is the take off point and what is this i will discuss so cs by rs is equal to this that means whenever there is a chance of getting feedback path that means the closed loop path so we can get the transfer functions like this so cs by rs will be like this that means this is a reduced type of blocks this is also block but there is no 
uh, the, 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 there was how many towns were there? There is a GS block, there was an HS block, there is an uh, error signal and all these things that have been completely eliminated. Now you can just apply any kind of input here and you can get your desired output, right? So uh, till now, but we have learned, we have learned if the uh, blocks are in cascade, then uh, they are basically series when the system closely responses to be taken then you have to know this gs by 1 plus gs part and you can get a same to that block and i just another version is there if there is a positive feedback here right if there is a positive feedback so what we get this is your hs the same block we we are having only that this is a there was a negative feedback that is why that, that was 1 plus GSHS if this is a positive feedback then the block will be like this this is your GS by 1 minus GS of HS and this is your CS right? so this is how and why the block diagrams are reduced because there are so many components so many instruments so many models are there in a plant so you have to get the plant blocks by seeing the drawing and finally after reduction of this block into a single block like this all the blocks will be connected together and reduced in such a way such that if a single input is given corresponding to that you can observe the output by using a single block that means whatever the defined kinds of blocks are available in the plant all the blocks uh, blocks uh, blocks transfer functions uh, will be connected together uh, logically and we have to get the structure like this we will have to get a single block right that is our motto in the next class uh, of, uh, is the continuation of this block diagram algebra and we will find uh, the different rules how to construct the uh, uh, how to reduce the diagrams and uh, we will solve certain kind of problem to check whether we have learned it right or not or any confusion is there so we will solve it right by solving the defined kinds of problem